So which is better for trimming your beard at home? Today we've got the Brio Beardscape uh, new version two that have just come out recently, and we've got a set of wall hair clippers. So welcome guys, my name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. We also try to help you uh, learn how to trim your beard at home. So uh, today we're gonna be talking about that uh, and specifically with these beard trimmers. And this one's not a beard trimmer. This is actually for your head hair. And I'm actually gonna argue the case that you really shouldn't be using in this on your beard, except for there's maybe one case where it can be helpful. Now, this is these are not the only tools that you need. There's some more fine detail trimmers you could use. Uh, there's always a place for some scissors, some combs, uh, brushes, those kind of things. But this is going to do the bulk of the work. All right. So I've had the original Beardscape um, for four years, four and a half years, something like that. Never let me down. Bought them myself. Loved them so much that I became an affiliate for the company. Um, so just full disclosure there, you can get additional savings at Brie. I get a small kickback when you use the code banjo at checkout. All right, uh, but I've seen some people try to go uh, trim, trim their beard at home with the wall um, or, or any kind of hair clippers, and there's really only one case where I think that would work, and that's if you're doing the, the hedge trimming, going down with the grain of your beard. I'm planning on doing a video soon about what the difference between going down versus going up. Um, most of the time these are used on head hair and it's, there's a little bit more bulky in the middle um, because you got this where the, you know, the barber can take a hold of it and, and work on getting that, uh, that fade on your hair. Um, going from one guard level to the next, getting the lines out as they fade their hair up. But the main difference is this. Uh, if you take a look, uh, in fact, let me hold it back here so the camera will focus. It looks like this is a really short. This is a lot shorter than this one. They're actually the same length guard as far as what's it, what it's going to do uh, to your head or to your beard. All right, so that's one of the main differences. This was designed for your beard. It's strong enough, powerful enough. Yes, you can use it on your head hair and blend it out pretty much the same as you can with this. Um, but uh, the, the way the guards are made, uh, this one is your three guard. Some of you guys, you know, you may ask for a three guard when you go get your hair cut. Uh, so that's what this is, which is 10 millimeters. Uh, this has got the nine millimeter guard on it. Plus with uh, there's already a one millimeter gap between the ceramic blades there. Uh, so that's really a 10 millimeter. So that's going to be a huge difference. You can actually do the fine detail work of curving, right? So this is going to curve around your chin. You can actually get it up under your mustache without it going up your nose or back here on the back corner without it uh, being a big blockage there and running into your ear. All right. So that's the main uh, difference that I see. A um, little bit more sleek and uh uh, lower, smaller profile to work the, the edges, and then those guards make a huge difference. You know, it's fine if you're working on your head hair, you know, because you know the barber, the stylist is just going to go straight up. Well, here if you go straight up on your face, there's other things that's going to hit, right? Like your ears and your nose. So that makes a huge difference. Makes this the go-to. I do think it's okay if you're walking, working down. You know, just going straight down. But once you start going up or working the curves on your face, there's a lot more uh, things that you can run into that you wouldn't uh, have to worry as much about. Now, you still would if you're using a guard longer than this. You start putting on the, the 15 or 18 guard. You know, you can still go up your nose or hit your, your ear back here. But overall, it works a, a lot better. There are cordless versions of this, so that's not a huge deal. Um, I'll let you hear the difference. They both have very powerful motors. This one's up to 7,000 RPM. I got to unlock it. By the way, if you want to know the difference between the brand new version two that came out and the original Beardscape, you can check out the video there in the corner or in the description so you can see the extra bells and whistles. But there's what it sounds like normally. And then here is the... It vibrates a lot more in your hand. I think you would get tired of doing, you know, holding this all uh, for a really long period of time. But if you're just doing it to trim your beard at home, it's not going to be that big of a difference. But that, that I was so surprised when I saw the length of those guards. This was made for your face. Yes, it'll work on head hair, but it's going to work a lot better on your beard uh, than a set of hair clippers. So if you, it's a great investment. Uh, learn how to trim your beard at home. We're doing a lot more videos uh, coming up about me trimming my beard, but also giving you tips and tricks and other things. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Let me know below, uh, do you trim your own beard? And if so, what do you guys use? And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll be seeing you soon.